there, I'm Katrina, and some of you have asked for a headstand, handstand tutorial, and I'm not a professional yogi, but I enjoy helping you guys figure out how to do your own type of headstand, so uh, I just want to get that out there, so not professional. I'm just going to talk you guys through it, but first make sure uh, most importantly, you warm up, and it does take a lot of uh, arm strength, of course, but it's really about your abs, too. So make sure that you are strengthening your upper body and your abs. Um, it makes it a lot easier. So, um, and another tip would be to practice up against a wall or maybe uh, your front door, something that won't break. Um, so you can throw your weight up against it and it will help you get that momentum and that kind of courage to go upside down on your hands and your head. So try practicing. Um, I'll show you a moment for how to warm up that um, going upside down. So here I am warming up. And what I'm doing is lifting my legs in the air, alternating left and right, right and left, swinging my body up in the air, trying to be comfortable with the idea of being upside down. This is also a good time to try up against a wall or up against a strong door, like I mentioned earlier. So if you want to go a little more free falling, and you don't want to be be afraid of falling back, that will be a good support for you. Now for the headstand. Position your elbows as shown, and you will lean down forward onto the mat. Here, your elbows will stay in the same position as shown. You will clasp your hands together, lace your fingers, and place your head in between your hands. This will be your stability right here. Next, you will rise your hips up and walk your toes toward your body. And this is where we begin to balance. So the closer your toes get to your face, the more balancing you will have to do. Lift one leg at a time, testing your balance and lift your second leg once you feel steady enough for that balance. When you feel ready, start to lift your legs up very slowly, keeping that balance steady. So for some of you, you'll find that it's hard to balance, so you might stay in that first position with your knees bent in front of you, and that's okay. You'll just keep practicing every day, and little by little, you will gain that confidence and gain that strength in order for you to get your legs all the way straight up into the air, just as shown. And it's really important that you don't go hard on yourself. It's okay. It's just uh, something you practice every single day, and you will get better and better as you go. So just have fun with it and experiment and try to figure out what works for you. When you feel ready to come down, just come down the way you went up, nice and slow with your knees bent. And once you're ready to tackle this next one, it's a little more difficult of a headstand, but it is possible once you practice. It took me a few months to figure this out. Um, but you just put your hands down on the mat and your head, you're kind of like a tripod and you just make your way up just the same as you did before. It's just a little trickier with the balance because you have less support um, with your hands and your, your arms. Again, take it easy, slow. You want to make sure that your legs are parallel to your body. So you'll need to put your hips back a little and slowly raise your legs up to straighten them. And once your legs are all the way up, you just try your best to balance there. And again, just another reminder, make sure your abs are strong and 
they're contracted and that you use your core to help you stabilize your balance. And that's it. So just remember, have fun and enjoy yourself. And let me know if you are able to do your handstands. And that's it. So please comment below. Let me know what you liked or what you didn't like. Uh, maybe if you want any other type of tutorials I'm willing to try out. So thanks for watching and happy handstands. Ooh.